straight to continuing coverage tonight of the missile strikes in Siri and how sailors based here in Hampton Roads played a big part. A locally based cruiser, destroyer and submarine were all involved in the strike against the Assad regime. The Pentagon says it launched a total of 105 missiles on Syrian chemical weapons operations. The Norfolk based ships USS Monterey missile cruiser and the destroyer USS Laboon launched tomahawks. And the Virginia class submarine USS John Warner was also part of the strikes. Different reactions around the world tonight, though. How successful and how legal was it? Many expected the airstrikes to be much worse. President Trump has declared them a success, though. He tweeted, mission accomplished this morning. But there's mixed reaction from our delegation in Washington. Ten in your side's Asia Tolliver has been following their responses. Asia, what are you learning from our representatives? Well, I spoke to Senator Tim Kaine and followed social media res responses by other Virginia lawmakers. While they disagree on some aspects of this decision, I was able to find they did agree on one thing. The targets that were struck and destroyed were specifically associated with the Syrian regime's chemical weapons program. We also selected targets that would minimize the risk to innocent civilians. President Donald Trump on Friday ordered the U.S. military to launch strikes on Syria in retaliation for a suspected chemical weapons attack by the regime of President Bashar al-Assad on a Damascus suburb last week. Our lawmakers in Washington took to social media to voice their opinions on the strikes. Republican Congressman Rob Whitman tweeted in support of the president's decision. There are consequences for using chemical weapons on civilians. Proud of our global U.S. Navy presence that provides POTUS and military commanders options when regimes use chemical weapons on the innocent Syria. But on the other hand, I talked with Senator Tim Kaine, who says it's not only reckless, but could lead to unauthorized bombing in other countries. So this president apparently feels like he can start a bombing campaign whenever he wants. Who's going to be next? Will it be Iran? Will it be North Korea? He tells me the president should respond against chemical weapons being used against civilians, but he says the president should lay out a strategy that makes sense and bring it to Congress. Striking Syria, a sovereign government that is not at war with the United States, uh, without coming to Congress is illegal. While Republican Congressman Scott Taylor of Virginia Beach tweeted the president rightfully took action, he also said any sustained military operations related to these Syria actions should be expeditiously debated by Congress with input on strategy from the administration. This is our constitutional duty. Kane tells me he's working with colleagues to craft a resolution to try to put some limitations on what the president can do in terms of making war without congressional authority. I reached out to other Republican lawmakers and didn't hear back. In the newsroom, Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.